Hey guys, it's Shane with Cooking Fanatics, and I'm bringing an interesting video. Um, I'm big into ribs, I like barbecue, I like making barbecue, and so I'm going to kind of show you how I make my ribs. So these are some baby backs I bought at uh, the local store. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip them upside down. Now these are thawed out, they were frozen, that doesn't seem to make a huge amount of difference. Um, so uh, what we're going to do here... Uh, you want to make sure you wash your hands very thoroughly before doing this and then again afterwards. So here we are, we've got uh, some mesquite, du mesquite dust that I'm going to be using to coat this with. So basically I'm just going to shake it on there. It's going to cover it pretty heavy. Then I'm actually going to take and massage it into the ribs itself. Kind of rubbing that in real good. The back's not as important, but I find that if you don't do the back, you might lose a little bit of flavor. So we want to make sure and get that rubbed in. Now we're going to flip it over. And you guys can probably hear my dog in the background. He's crying because he's not getting to see what I'm doing. So here we are. We're going to do the top. Cover it pretty good. And just like I said, just rub that in there. Just rub, rub, rub. Just massage the meat, basically. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to wipe my hands off pretty good here. And we're going to just scoot this here in the middle. And just wrap it up in the tin foil itself. The reason I like baby backs is you can do this pretty easily and they work really well. As you can see. Now I'm going to let this sit in the fridge for about two hours before I actually start cooking it. So uh, once we get to the cooking part I'll restart the video and show you cooking and uh, what all we can do with that. Hey guys, so we're on the second part of this video here. You can see the ribs have been soaking for about two hours now, about two and a half hours, roughly. Um, so I'm going to be using a Traeger pellet grill. You can see here in the, the camera view, uh, this is a wood-burning pellet grill. It's a good grill to have. I enjoy using this grill. But this, these instructions will work on wood or charcoal grill. We're going to be doing a little bit of smoking, so if you are using wood or charcoal, be sure that you have your wood or charcoal. I'm using a competition blend, which has maple, cherry, hickory, and mesquite all built in. So that's how I'm flavoring this with the smoke. So one more shot of the ribs before they go on. Beautiful as they are. So uh, we've got our temperature set to... Uh, our temperature is set to 250. Um... And it's not quite 250 yet, but I'm going to go ahead and throw these on there. It won't hurt if they smoke for a little bit longer. We are going to cook them unwrapped, set right on the grill. Now, I've washed my hands in preparation of touching these. You want to make sure you do that. And then we'll talk about what the temperatures of pork should be when we get to that portion of the show. So as you can see there, I've got the ribs sitting on there. They're just going to collect smoke. Um, now the last thing I cooked on this was probably ribs or burgers uh, or mix. I can't remember which. I believe it was ribs last time. Um, these are baby backs again, like I said. Uh, this is a pellet grill. You can see that they're sitting on there nicely, going to collect a lot of smoke. Uh, these are going to cook for uncovered. They're going to cook for one and a half hours so an hour and a half we'll come back out and we'll check on these and we'll wrap them up in tin foil and uh, let them cook for another hour and a half to get up to temp so right now we're going to be enduring the smoking process there's no reason to see this because the lid's going to be shut the entire time so say goodbye to the ribs uh, for an hour and a half and uh, we'll come back when they're ready to go Okay, so now we're going to wrap the ribs. They've been cooking for an hour and a half. Now we're going to wrap them and they'll cook for another hour and a half. So here we are. So let me zoom in on this so you guys can see what they look like. They're looking pretty good. So now we'll wrap them. Now I suggest you use a pot holder or something to grab a hold of these. I'm just going to grab them by hand. I've done this a few times. We'll just wrap 
grab them real fast. And they'll stay just like that for another hour and a half and cook. And then we'll check the temperature, make sure they're cooked all the way. And uh, then eat them. All right, guys. So they have finally cooked all the way. That's what they look like. Uh, we'll give them 15 minutes to rest, and then we'll cut them open and eat them. All right, now that these have rested, we'll go ahead and cut them open and show you what they look like. trick to cutting is to flip them over you can see they've kind of stuck to the tin foil a little bit which happens sometimes Now you can see exactly where to cut. You can see that good old smoke ring there. Right there. Nice and deep. That's a good looking rib.